I'm Deputy Head of Actual at Channel 4 uh, and what I'm responsible for is all our documentary output which is everything from singles to, um, to rig shows to series. Um, doesn't mean I'm the commissioner for all those. We have separate commissioners for True Stories, for Cutting Edge, for a lot of the individual series but I oversee that output and I will also commission a number of series myself. We like to take the audience as sort of close to the experience as possible in an unmediated way. We like to put the audience in, in inside scenes. So that's why One Born was successful because it took you nearer and closer and more inside the process of a couple going through birth than ever before. Um, 999 is very Channel 4 because you are there as the emergency services walk through the door uh, into, a, um, uh, you know, into a crisis. So, um, in a way, one of the characteristics of, of Channel 4 is to take you into the sort of immediacy of the moment in a dramatic way. It's quite important and it's in our kind of DNA that we want to think about breaking boundaries, doing things that are provocative, doing things that are a bit more risky, doing things which would make people think, oh, God, they, dared, they dared to do that. Channel 4 have done that. I mean, in a way, if you go back to the origins of the rig, putting a hundred cameras inside, or however many there were, inside a single home to make an eight-part series felt bold. It felt, maybe it felt intrusive. It felt, it felt a bit mad. It felt, yeah, actually, that way, sort of genius lies. Sometimes ideas are quite well thought through, but very often what happens is there's a conversation between myself or one of my team and an independent company or a director, and through that conversation um, the idea develops, it forms, it perhaps becomes a bit more Channel 4. We start to think of the scenes that might play in that documentary and, um, and start to imagine what it would look like, what it would feel like to watch it. Uh, it it's rare that a perfectly formed paragraph lands on my uh, desk and it's translated into a, into a commission straight away. One of the things that viewers want is difference. So in, in, in some ways we would be hindering ourselves if we, meant, if we were very prescriptive and said actually everything's going to be like what everything's gone before. If different means obscure it might be it might be wrong to be thinking about broadcasting. It might mean that it's a sort of more of a narrow cast or a film festival proposition. So obscure isn't great, but actually treating subjects that audiences are inherently interested in in different ways is good. Look at, look at last week. We did a film about, or a week before, a film about dogging. Effectively, what it was, was a film made by an extraordinary award-winning director who... Um, who dealt with the gr slight grubbiness of the world by making a film that looked sort of more beautiful, I think, than sort of any documentary you've seen in, in a long time. And instead of blurring faces, everybody in the film is wearing sort of masks. It, it, you, you, feel you're in a, you feel like you're in a Venetian pageant, and I defy you to find a, a documentary that looks more stunning than that. So, in some ways, that's, you couldn't be more different. You're, you're, you're sort of taking high art of the documentary maker, ex-photographer, and you're planting it in a world that, that could hardly be more grubby. Generally, Channel 4's audience is a bit younger skewed than the other terrestrial channels. And, um, but essentially, we are all broadcasting. It's got to feel like it, it, it touches a nerve with the nation somewhere. Um, and if you think it's a good idea, talk to us about it. Um, and um, we can sort of then think about audience. Watch a lot of television, think about programmes, think about what you like and why it works, and, and distill your intelligence of that into your approaches to companies and your approaches to the projects that you're working on.